Now classically, these patients are going to present with quote unquote heartburn, which is going to occur 30 minutes to one and a half hours after having a meal. This typically is going to improve with the use of over-the-counter antacids or with the use of proton pump inhibitors or PPIs, which are going to work by reducing that acid production within the stomach. Additionally, these patients will classically have worsening of their symptoms when they are lying down. And this should make sense to us because if we once again draw out our normal esophagus here, which ultimately empties into the patient's stomach, and we then have that patient having a reflux of acid from the stomach into the lower portion of the esophagus, we can imagine that if this patient were lying down and we were to flip this by 90 degrees, that we would instead have something that looks like this. So the acid level would be even more easily reaching this lower portion of the esophagus, and as that acid refluxes during the night, this patient is going to have a worsening of their reflux symptoms. Additionally, patients with GERD may classically present with what is known as a globus sensation or having a lump in the throat. Additionally, because patients with GERD can present with anginal symptoms, these patients may be confused with those who have coronary artery disease as they can present with chest pain. Additionally, GERD can also manifest as chronic cough, and this is very high yield to keep in mind as well. As a matter of fact, GERD is one of the top three causes of chronic cough that we will see in our patients, which comes after post-nasal drip being the most common cause, followed by asthma causing chronic cough, and finally by GERD. And so this is extremely important to keep in mind, both for examinations and clinically, when we suspect that a patient with a chronic cough may indeed simply have GERD.